and community oil. Stop in, give them a call, or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support. Experience personalized service and a commitment to your financial well-being. Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family-friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award-winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. When you need the best in transmission repairs, count on the name you can trust when you choose automatic transmission and gear. 
as a member of the Better Business Bureau and the Automatic Transmission Rebuilds Association. We have been proudly serving Watertown with over 30 years of experience on every job. We specialize in quality transmission repairs, complete transmission rebuilds, and more. Automatic transmission and gear. Give us a call today to see what we can do for you. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air. Where a simple wave warms your heart. And sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. Yeah. 
as Castleman students, 8th grader Ava Rummel, freshman Brielle Tesh, Sydney Kuderna, and junior Leah Averholt sing our national anthem. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in on Castlewood Warriors Live. We have region basketball here tonight. Both these teams, 20 games up, 20 games down, and are on the road to uh, hopefully a state tournament appearance. Castlewood looking to return to the state tournament as they finish their season with a record of 17 and three. Oldham Ramona. 4 and 16. They come in the number 7 seed. Castle with the number 2 seed as they win the tip and we begin. Region 2B basketball underway in Castlewood. Tweet with it. Right wing 3 and we're off to a quick start. Going over your starters here for first for the away team on the scoreboard. The Oldham, Ramona, Rutland, Raiders. Number zero, Braden Hanson. Number two, Boyd Pooler. Number 22, Caden Hoyer. Number 24, Cooper Marager. And number 44, Brennan Bickett. And the same starting five for Castlewood as well. Lane Tweet, Quincy Thu, Luke Bomberger, Jamison Kessler, and Brian Lowey. Bomberger tries a corner three. That too strong. Boyd Pooler brings down the rebound. He's moving in transition, coast to coast goes Boyd Pooler. And it's a 3-2 lead for Castlewood. Kessler with it, out to Tweet. Similar to the first possession of the game. Another three ball from Lane Tweet. Again, Castlewood comes in with the number two seed in Region 2B. They are just behind DeSmit by .15 seed points. They have the same exact record, but uh, not getting quite enough seed points uh, compared to DeSmit. Wow. Another three. <laughs> Lane tweets. Barely, I mean, they, they got to jump out and contest that if they want to stop Lane. He's a hot shooter. Pooler kicks that one, or rather throws that one off Lowey. Fast break. Kessler with the layup. And it's quickly 11 to 2, a minute 46 into the game. And a timeout called by head coach Cole Siegfried of Oldham Ramona Rutland. We'll take it with him. It's a full timeout. We're back in one minute. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, 
Then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Welcome back in Castlewood. And back at the perfect time as Jamison Kessler knocks down another three-pointer. Four of the first five baskets for Castlewood tonight have come from long range. 14-2 lead. Winner of this one will face off against the winner of the nightcap game, the Woolsey Washington Warbirds, number three in Region 2B at 16 and 4, taking on 14 and 6, the number six seeded Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks. That game will be held on Friday, I believe, in the Huron Arena. So there will just be one home playoff game for Castlewood. Tweet with it. Underneath, what a pass to Bomberger, pinned it off the backboard. He gets it out to Thu for another three. It's pouring here in the Castlewood gym. Five first quarter threes, and rather five threes in the first three minutes of the game. Missed shot, Thu gets the rebound. Now they kick it up ahead, Kessler underneath, Lowey spinning around, puts it up and gets the roll. 19 to two, <laughs> and we're not even halfway through the opening quarter. As yeah, worst case scenario here for the Raiders of Old Hammer Motor Rutland. Bickett, good patience, fires from three. That's too strong. Rebound goes to Hoyer. He puts that one back up and in. Back across the timeline, Lane Tweet with it. And these two teams have already faced off once earlier this season as Lowey gets it underneath, back out Tweet. Driving in baseline, working around defenders, kicks it to the corner, Bomberger for three. That's off the mark. Rebound goes to Braden Hanson. These two teams faced off right here in Castlewood back on January 19th where the Raiders fell 82 to 36 to Castlewood. Tweet. Trying to get it to a trailing Bomberger, but it was just out of his reach. Things have certainly slowed down now for Castlewood after that 19-2 run to start the quarter, but here's a steal from Kessler and the layup. <laughs> 21-4. Press is put on. Hanson with the floater off the mark. And Kessler, no one getting back in time to guard him. Leads to a fast break layup. Jamison Kessler nearly get another steal there. 23 to four. That shot blocked by Lowey. Colby Davis trying to put up a reverse layup. And we go back the other way. Kessler to tweet. Thu to the corner, now Tweet. Kessler underneath Lowey, bouncing it to Thu. Good ball nice movement shot. there from Castlewood. 25 to four, pass off the foot of Kessler. And they're gonna say a kickball violation. Brody Bass and Bowen Ryan sub in for Lowey and Bomberger. Also coming in for the Raiders, number 12, Brody, Ander, uh, Brody Albertson, excuse me. 5'7 freshman. He replaces Bickett, who now sits on the bench. Hanson drives baseline, dumping it underneath. Hoyer, good patience. 
by Caden Hoyer as he gets that bucket to fall. 25 to six. Tweet steps into a three. That's short. Bass able to get the rebound. And now Caswood swinging it around. Thu puts one up and in. 27 to six. Floater up by Pooler off the mark. Brody Bass gets the rebound. Now Thu skips it over to Kessler. Kessler drives, weaving around defenders out to Thu. One dribble over to Ryan in the corner, now underneath Bass. Out to Kessler, pump fakes a three. Over to Tweed in the corner for three. Oh. Rims in and out. Would have been, I believe, <laughs> three-pointer number four of the quarter for Lane Tweed. Yeah. And, ooh, Kessler nearly got a steal there. Twenty-seven to six, a minute, twenty-three and counting to go in the opening quarter. Bounce pass nearly lost, saved by Albertson. Pooler puts up a shot off the mark. Quincy Fu with the rebound. Skip pass over to Kasler who steps into a three, and it is a thirty-point quarter for Castlewood. Five or six three-pointers now. Hansen's shot off the mark. Hoyer with the rebound. Shot up. Foul. That was three-pointer number six. Six. 18 points off of the three ball in this first quarter. Hayden Hoyer has the free throw line. First free throw in and out. Bomberger back in. He replaces Thu. Bickett back in as well. He replaces Boyd Pooler. 51.6 seconds to go in the first quarter of play here in Castlewood. I'm John Akery. Alongside me, Adam Ching. You bet. Second free throw, good. 30 to 7 lead. As to Bomberger. Castlewood averaging. 64 points per game coming into it, and they're halfway to that average in less than eight minutes of play. <laughs> 32 to seven. Three-pointer from the corner, no. Bomberger able to get that rebound. Tweet, Ooh, trying to thread the needle to get that inside to Kessler. And I believe Jameson Kessler last touched the basketball, so it'll go back with Old Ham Ramona Rutland. Shot clock turned off. We'll see what the Raiders do. Close out this first quarter. Driving baseline. Hanson puts one up well short. Rebound Ryan. Up ahead. Bomberger for three at the buzzer. No. Oh. Oh. Bounced about three times, but <laughs> couldn't get it to fall. 32 to seven is your score after one in Castlewood. Warriors looking to uh, extend that lead at the start of the second quarter here in one minute. Esteline Community Oil is your one stop for your agricultural needs. They offer a wide range of seed, agronomy services, chemical and mix 30 liquid feed. As Senex dealers, they have bulk fuel, propane, and oil, as well as two gas stations. Esteline Community Oil. Stop in, give them a call, or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Welcome back here on Castlewood Warriors Live. I'm John Akery alongside me, Adam Ching. Start of quarter number two in the first 
quarterfinal or semifinal, I don't know what you really want to call yeah. this round. It's to go to the qualifying round for the Sodak 16, so it can be portrayed in many different ways. <laughs> Technically, there's no region final, so. Bomberger in the corner, three-pointer too strong, and he just rips the offensive rebound away from Pooler. Extra possession for Castlewood. Tweet, three, no, Lowey, yep. and he'll get fouled. That foul on Brennan Bickett, his first. As Lowey sinks the first free throw. <laughs> the crowd erupting. And he gets the second one. 34 to seven. Pass nearly stolen. In the corner, three-pointer on the way. That's off the mark. Jameson Kessler gets the rebound and gets it out quick. Tweet to Bomberger. He almost threw it down. But he does get fouled on the way up. That foul there on Brody Albertson. Crowd's really enjoying some free throws tonight. <laughs> yeah. Bomberger's second free throw. It's like I don't even really need to say if he made it or yeah. missed it. I mean, I, I guess if he missed it, I could, but <laughs> you could just hear the crowd roaring in the background. Right. Hoyer, skip pass, corner three, no. Trying to save it was Albertson, but he saves it to Quincy Thu. We go back the other way. Kessler, long three, no. Pickett with the rebound. We're just one point away from running clock. Something to keep in mind as this game goes on. Hoyer's shot, and he is fouled by Ryan Lowey. Free throw up and good for Caden Hoyer, the 6'5 senior center for ORR. Second one short. Who able to grab the rebound over Bickett. Tweed off a screen from Thu. Dribbling around. No look pass in the corner to Quincy Thu for three. Lowey gets the rebound, puts it up and in. And we're at the 30 point mark. Running clock is on. Albertson. Pooler, Marager back to Albertson. Cooper Marager bounce pass to Albertson driving in. Bounces that one off Lowey. And refs say Tweet was out of bounds. I guess I am mistaken. It doesn't look like they do running clock in, in region games. Hmm. Pick it. Ball stolen away from Ryan. Pass up ahead to Tweet. Kind of out of his reach. So he had to let the defense recover. Wow. Step back three from Lane. Tweet. That's a heck of a move. He's having himself a night already. I think he's got four threes now. You'll have to fact check me on that one, Adam. Yes, four threes and a, and a two. So he's got 14 points right now. Cooler with that one. 
41 to 10. Thu underneath. Great pass from Luke Baumberger. As Pooler's shot off the mark. Up ahead to Tweet. He shoots a three, no. Bickett gets the rebound. That ball stolen away. Hoyer with the turnover. Bomberger in transition. Ooh. Kind of kind of threw it down. <laughs> Didn't quite get all of it, but still finishing at the rim. 45 to 10. As the pass from Rogger well out of play. As we got some more subs in, Jamison Kessler comes in. Brody Bass and number 44, Jyler Theraldson, the six foot senior. Wow, he gets it, working on Hoyer, makes a move and scores with ease. That was the worst time to take a water break. <laughs> Kessler with the poster. Three-pointer from Pooler is good. I apologize, folks. I could have had a really cool call there, but <laughs> this has kind of turned into a rec game almost. So, mm -hmm. Lowey, turnaround shot, no. Hoyer gets the rebound. Underneath the Hoyer, working around Lowey, out to Marager for three. Too strong, rebound luck goes to Brian Lowey. Kessler to Theraldson, scoop layup. Oh! 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 <laughs> Lowey with the putback. I've been waiting to see one of those all year. Albertson hits a three on the other end, 51 to 16. Whether that was intended or not, that was a pretty play. <laughs> yeah. Bass gets it to Kessler. Bass out to Kessler for three, no. Well, I'm being told that I, I think running clock starts in the second half, so. Oh. Kick ball on Kessler. We've seen that quite a few times tonight. Bounce passes hitting the legs of, of uh, Castlewood Warriors. That could be the last time we see Lowey out here, I think. And Kessler, perhaps. Jamison Kessler, that is. Yeah. Younger brother Camden Kessler subbing in now. Lars Tweet in as well, the younger brother of Wayne. Five on the shot clock. Marager guarded closely by Theraldson. Last second shot falls short. Lars Tweet gets the rebound. Kind of oddly stopped play there. Castlewood got the rebound. <laughs> 51 to 16 as Cooper Marager will sub out. Three-pointer from Camden Kessler is short. Skip pass up ahead. Does he got an angle? No. But he does get fouled in the process. Braden Hanson. A minute 28 to go in the first half of play. Line drive free throw. Sinks it.
as he gets both. A foul on Bowen Ryan, his first. Large tweet across the timeline. They get it underneath the bass. Makes a nice move. He ain't able to get it, but he gets the offensive rebound. Kessler in the corner for three off the mark. In transition, three-pointer from Hanson up and good. It's great defense from Therrelton, but an even better shot from Braden Hanson. Three-pointer from Ryan, short. Boyd Pooler gets the rebound up ahead to Hanson. Mm. Fifty-one twenty-three. Bass trying to step around Hoyer. As he'll get a foul called. Screen. Large tweet, his three-pointer, no. And we'll get a foul on Therrelton. 20.1 seconds to go. And make sure to stay tuned after the Woolsey Westington Warbirds and the Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks will play here after we got the coverage right here on Gaswood Warriors Live. Three seconds. Bickett unable to get a shot off. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Castlewood up big, 51 to 23. We'll step aside for about 10 minutes. Be back for the third quarter on Castlewood Warriors live on YouTube and online at warriors.liveticket.tv. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support, experience personalized service, and a commitment to your financial well-being. Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family-friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award-winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities.
The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. When you need the best in transmission repairs, count on the name you can trust when you choose automatic transmission and gear. As a member of the Better Business Bureau and the Automatic Transmission Rebuilds Association, we have been proudly serving Watertown with over 30 years of experience on every job. We specialize in quality transmission repairs, complete transmission rebuilds, and more. Automatic transmission and gear. Give us a call today to see what we can do for you. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company, protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Esteline Community Oil is your one stop for your agricultural needs. They offer a wide range of seed, agronomy services, chemical and mix 30 liquid feed. As Senex dealers, they have bulk fuel, propane and oil, as well as two gas stations. Esteline Community Oil. Stop in, give them a call or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support. Experience personalized service and a commitment to your financial well-being. 
Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student-athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family-friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award-winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, oh, wow. your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. We're back, start of the third quarter here in Castlewood. Adam Ching to my right, I'm John Acri. Thanks for tuning in. Castlewood pouring it on early as they are up 51 to 23 to begin the third quarter of play. And the winner of this one takes on the winner of the next game here tonight at starting at 7.30 or scheduled to start at 7.30 between the Woolsey Wessington Warbirds, number three seed in Region 2B, and the Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks, who are the number six seed. Starters are back in for yeah. Castlewood. We were kind of shocked to see that. Yeah. We thought maybe they would take it easy early on in the playoffs, but... Head coach Paul Rush wants him to get a couple more minutes out there before he takes him out again. Yep. Hanson with it, top of the key. Gets it to Marager in the corner. Floater off the mark from Braden Hanson. Lane Tweet and Jameson Kessler each with 14 points that first half. It's Tweet shot off the mark. Ryan Lowey had 10 and Quincy Thu added another nine. There's a steal. They get it up ahead, Jameson Kessler. Ooh, we thought we were gonna see another dunk there. He was pretty confident when a defender <laughs> was in front of him, but not, not as much there. Must not have gotten a good jump. Yep. Hooler to Hanson, out to Hoyer. Now Bickett, he takes a three. Nice uh, save. <laughs> the rebound saved by Fu. Good hustle play. I don't know what Lowey was doing, he was just gonna <laughs> let that ball go out of bounds, but <laughs> Fu able to dive after it and save it. Tweet. Gets a screen from Lowey. Underneath now to Lowey. Putting it up. He doesn't get the basket, but a foul is called.
Yeah, we were kind of talking about ORR um, during the break. Kind of tough for them to find wins this year or this season. But, I mean, you look at their roster, they're pretty young. They got one senior that starts. Otherwise, the rest are freshmen, sophomores, and a few juniors. So, you know, hopefully next year, you know, grind out a few more wins and kind of get back on track a little bit. Yeah, I think for Class B basketball especially, the numbers game is really important. And when you're unable to start a lot of guys with – kind of veteran experience and juniors and seniors. It's really tough to string together wins and that's kind of what Oldham Ramona has been dealing with this season. Yep. Lowey out to Bomberger, fakes the three, drives in, hands it off to Lowey. <laughs> uh, he's got two dunks now. First one was off of a putback in the closing out of the closing minutes of the first half. That pass nearly stolen and a late backcourt violation called. And again, the running clock is in effect. We were curious why it wasn't in the first half. It was. 30 points at about the six minute mark of the second quarter, but running clock doesn't start till the second half. So now it's going. Kessler, elbow jumper too strong. Caden Hoyer gets the rebound. Pooler, bounce pass to Marager. Back out, Bickett fakes the three, drives in on Lowey, puts one up. Beautiful shot from mm -hmm. Brandon Bickett. 58-25, as Tweet fakes the drive, he steps back out. Bomberger. <laughs> Gonna get a foul call here on Braden Hansen of ORR as Thu and Baumberger take a seat. Tweet gets a handoff from Bass. Attempts the three in the corner, misses. Bass gets the rebound. Another possession here for Castlewood. Oh, Jamison lobbing it up. Maybe hoping Lowey would <laughs> see that and throw it down, but I don't know if he ever got the message. Crazy part is that shot was not too far off from going <laughs> in either. <laughs> Bass again hands it off to Tweet. Tweet behind the back. Corner three from Bass off the mark. Bickett. Out of Hanson, three pointer on the way, short. Boyd Pooler gets the rebound, puts one up, and he gets the floater to fall. 58-27. Nearly a, nearly a travel call on Tweet. He's able to, the last moment, dish it off to Lowey, who gets the foul. Now he sinks the first. That foul called on Caden Hoyer, his third. Team's fourth. Second free throw, good. As Brian Lowey will sub out. Luke Bomberger back in. Bounce pass underneath to Hoyer, rips it away from Ryan. Turns around, puts one up, blocked by Bass. But he gets it back and foul will be called on Brody Bass. On 
Able to get that one to go. Second foul on Brody Bass. When did they move away from the uh, districts and then regions and then state? Do you know, John? That was, I think, 2016. 2016, okay. If I'm not mistaken. Bass, left wing three. I'm pretty sure it was roughly that time frame, 2016. Okay. Shot up and in for Caden Hoyer. Sixty to twenty-nine. Bomberger drives past Hoyer. Shot falls short. Bass gets the rebound. Kessler. And I don't know what just happened down by the student section, but it sounds like someone dropped a handful of change or something. I think. Whatever it was, it was pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a lot of it fell, yeah, too. Yeah. Shot missed from Jameson Kessler. Able to get that one to go. And the 12 second difference between shot and game clock as Pooler gets the floater to fall. We are back to a 30 point lead. Bass to Ryan. Now Tweet, and Brody Bass able to get the layup to go. Assist goes there to Lane Tweet. Bounce pass to Hoyer, Travel. and he's gonna get travel called, and that will do it for the third quarter of play. Castlewood cruising, looking to move on to the Sodak 16 qualifier in here on, on Friday. One quarter away from doing so. We're back in one minute on Gaswood Warriors Live. The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you're Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. Welcome back. As we kick things off, the fourth quarter off with a three-pointer from Bowen Ryan. Just giving you some score updates here, at least within Region 2B. Like DeSmith will move past Arlington easily. They're up 60 to 27 with seven minutes to go in the fourth. As Bickett gets the bounce there. I guess that's the only other one because they are playing the uh, four seed and five seed matchup uh, in DeSmith as well. So that game will be following the conclusion of DeSmith and Arlington. Large tweet for three. That's wide right. Bowen Ryan offensive rebound. Camden Kessler 
Out to Ryan for three, yes. <laughs> Two quick threes from Bo and Ryan. Ball nearly stolen away from Hoyer. And now it is. Theraldson gets the steal. Theraldson over to Tweet. Now Ryan underneath the Bass. Out to Kasler. Driving baseline. Reverse layup falls short. And Pooler will bring down the rebound. He's looking to push in transition. Shot blocked by Bass. First block. Large tweet trying to thread the needle, but Bickett deflects that one away. Looks like we'll get another sub in as well. Cabrin Jackson. Cabrin or Cabrin, excuse me. I'm, I'm not Cabrin. entirely Cabrin. All yep, right, I was right. saying that right. <laughs> As he gets it there. Wearing number 10, the six foot senior. Nice pass. Kessler driving in, missing the layup. As it'll go out of bounds. Some other uh, region class B action. Number four seeded Canastota taking on the number five seed Chester area Flyers. Chester area currently up 15 to 10 early in the second quarter. Fiberg Hurley ahead of Scotland at the end of the third quarter, 68 to 26. Uh, number two seed in uh, Region 4B, Menno took down, or uh, excuse me, Freeman took down the number seven seed, Menno, 62 to 24. Um, let's see, number three seed Lower Brule took down number six seed uh, Sully Buttes, 43 to 27 in Region 6B. In Region 7B, White River ahead of Ulrichs, 41 to five after the first quarter. And Jones County is ahead of Crazy Horse, 32 to 23 at the end of the first half. And the last game that has an update, Region 8B, Harding County ahead of Wakpala, 19 to 13. That one early in the second quarter. Raiders get it across the timeline. Ball poked loose and a foul will be assessed on Camden Kessler. As Bowen Ryan will sub out. Bennett Johnson checks in. Four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. This game will go roughly an hour and two minutes long. It's been a pretty quick game. Obviously, it helps when you have the <laughs> when you have the uh, running clock in the second half, but. Mm -hmm. Just taking a look as well at the kind of mock Sodak 16. If uh, Noah, neither one or two seed in every region was upset, right now Castlewood would be the number three seed in the Sodak 16 as Tweet's shot off the mark. They would take on the number 14 seed Wall Eagles. Oh my. I don't know what that pass was, uh, but it was if it was a pass, <laughs> that is. It, it was a pretty accurate shot. Yeah. Jackson misses the three. Hoyer, he misses that one. Gabriel Jackson gets the rebound. Now Lars tweet up ahead to Camden Kessler. And he misses that one. Just 
Kind of looking at some of these matchups as well. You got White River taking on Freeman. That would be the one verse 16. Again, all these are hypothetical. Mm -hmm. These are just if the top two seeds in every region won all the way to the uh, Sodak 16. You got DeSmith taking on Potter County. Again, Castwood would be facing off against Wall, the uh, number three seed versus 14 seed. Wessington Springs would take on Falkton area. That's kind of a regional matchup. Howard would take on Aberdeen Christian. Well, here. Old Hammerona subbing out their starters. Aiden Hoyer subbing out for what would be the final time in his basketball career. Two seniors on this team as well. There's number 42, Logan Trigstad. Those matchups in the Sodak 16, does it depend on the matchups to where they play at a neutral site or are those set locations already? No, those would just be assessed on uh, which teams would uh, put a bid in for uh, uh, a Sodak 16 matchup. Oh, okay. Wasn't quite sure how that worked. Get some more subs as well. Lars Tweet subs out. Jyler Theraldson as well. Camden Kessler. Odie Wernke into the game. Jaron Eidson. And Tyson Manley as well. No one guarding him, <laughs> and he makes it Tyson Manley. Get a sub in as well. Brody Westall subs in for ORR. Under 90 seconds to play. Pass deflected, stolen away. Manley, fast break, right hand layup, no. And Johnson trying to save it. They'll say he was out of bounds. 71 to 40. Gaswood will all likely move on as Westall not getting that shot to fall. There's a three pointer from Jackson that falls short. Westall, oh, three-pointer. <laughs> Why not? Saw <laughs> him so shaking his head because everybody wanted him to shoot it, got the pass back, and <laughs> he took the shot. Jackson dishing it. <laughs> up and good for Jaron Eidson. 10 seconds to go. Floater off the mark. Wernke deflects that one out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Castlewood will move on to the Sodak 16 qualifying round as they dominate in the, their first playoff game. 73 to 43. Let's see, Adam, do you have any uh, the scores? Kind of tallied up yet, or? Uh, getting there, getting there. Again, the uh, Caswood Warriors will move on to face the winner of the upcoming game here between the Woolsey Wessington Warbirds and Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks. We'll give you another update as well. DeSmith took down, or rather is about to take down Arlington 70 to 34, so they will effectively move on in the uh, other side of the bracket in Region 2B. But, Adam, what do you got for uh, leading scores there? Yeah, we'll start out uh, with Old Hammer Mona Rutland uh, Raiders. We had Boyd Pooler put in about 13 points, and Caden Hoyer, uh, the senior, putting in 10. 
Those were ORR's leading scores. As for Castlewood, we had a bi another big one from Lane Tweet, 14 points. Quincy Thew with a quiet nine. Uh, Jamison Kessler, 19 points for him. And uh, Brian Lowey, 14 points. So um, everything er, everything clicking on all cylinders for Castlewood to start out the game and just the whole way through. Uh, not so much ORR, but I mean, if you're RR, you look at this matchup before the game, and you know how that game went in, in earlier in the season, and it's just Castlewood's hot right now. They're a good team. They've been a good team this year, and and uh, I'm excited to, to see them hopefully make a run here in the in the playoffs and then uh, at the state tournament, hopefully. And again, Castlewood will play the winner of our game coming up here. It seems like it's the end of the night, but yeah. we do have another basketball game. Yep. Uh, a lot of Castlewood fans have kind of cleared out with the uh, two teams playing next. Woolsey Westington Warbirds and Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks. I'm thinking we might be a little ahead of schedule. They might still try to work this to start at 7.30. Uh, not entirely sure, though, because I'm not seeing they, Woolsey. They started the 15 minutes on the clock right now, so it... it I think it is going to start a little early, but... Oh, there's Woolsey right there. Yep, okay. So, again, Woolsey Westington Warbirds taking on Iroquois Lake Preston here in about 15 minutes. And again, your final in the first game. Castlewood defeats Old Ham Ramona Rutland 73-43. I'm John Acre alongside me, Adam Ching. We'll step aside. We'll be back for game number two in about 14 minutes. Pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. When you need the best in transmission repairs, count on the name you can trust when you choose automatic transmission and gear. As a member of the Better Business Bureau and the Automatic Transmission Rebuilds Association, we have been proudly serving Watertown with over 30 years of experience on every job. We specialize in quality transmission repairs, complete transmission rebuilds, and more. Automatic transmission and gear. Give us a call today to see what we can do for you. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air, where a simple wave warms your heart, and sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Esteline Community Oil is your one stop for your agricultural needs. They offer a wide range of seed, agronomy services, chemical and mix 30 liquid feed. As Senex dealers, they have bulk fuel, propane and oil, as well as two gas stations. Esteline Community Oil. Stop in, give them a call or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. 
Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support. Experience personalized service and a commitment to your financial well-being. Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family-friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award-winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. When you need the best in transmission repairs, count on the name you can trust when you choose Automatic Transmission and Gear. As a member of the Better Business Bureau and the Automatic Transmission Rebuilds Association, we have been proudly serving Watertown with over 30 years of experience on every job. 
We specialize in quality transmission repairs, complete transmission rebuilds, and more. Automatic transmission and gear. Give us a call today to see what we can do for you. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air. Where a simple wave warms your heart. And sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Esteline Community Oil is your one stop for your agricultural needs. They offer a wide range of seed, agronomy services, chemical and mix 30 liquid feed. As Senex dealers, they have bulk fuel, propane and oil, as well as two gas stations. Esteline Community Oil. Stop in, give them a call or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support. Experience personalized service and a commitment to your financial well-being. Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student-athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family-friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award-winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities.
The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. The Starters for the Warbirds, 
Welcome back here in Castlewood. Game number two, moments away from tip-off between the number three seeded Woolsey Westington Warbirds and the number six seeded Iroquois Blake Preston Sharks. Adam Ching to my right. I'm John Akery. Thanks for tuning in. Woolsey Westington, the higher seed, comes in with a record of 16 and four. Iroquois Lake Preston at four and 16. We'll go through your starting lineups as Woolsey Westington comes out of their break. First for the Warbirds, number one, Peyton Rainford. Number two, Grant Tim. Number four, Moshe Richmond. Number five, Caleb Richmond. And number 30, Tate French. For Iroquois Lake Preston as the Warbirds win the tip. Number zero, Josh McMasters. Number one, Lucas Pesky. Number 21, Rexton Blue. As Wolsey Wessington starts, I didn't see who scored that, but the Warbirds get on the board first. Rexton Blue, number 21, as we're gonna get a foul call on the steal. Number 30, Weston Woodcock, and number 45, Ryan Green, round out the starting five for Iroquois Lake Preston. If you're just joining us, Castlewood took home the victory over Old Am Ramona Rutland, 73 to 43. As the winner of this one will face off against the Warriors on Friday in the Huron Arena. Caleb Richmond goes two for two from the charity stripe. That foul on McMasters, his first. Woodcock with it in the corner. Now a three-pointer from Pesky up and good. Three-pointer from Richmond, nothing but net. What a response from Caleb Richmond. And the Warbirds lead it seven to three with just about a minute gone by. Backdoor cut, beautifully executed. But unable to make the layup was Lucas Pesky. In transition now, French. Out to Richmond. That being Kale, or rather Moshe Richmond. Turnover, Woodcock gets the ball stripped by Caleb Richmond. <coughs> Green inbounds it, he gets it, Woodcock. Now McMasters driving in, kicks it to the corner. Step back, three is good. Lucas Pesky bringing some energy tonight for the Sharks. French, short corner jumper, up and good. Masters with it, and gets it to Green. Pesky to Woodcock, skip pass over to Blue. Oh. McMasters puts one up, and doesn't get it to fall. French with the rebound. In transition now. A lot of contact and a blo hmm. blocking, blo I can't speak, blocking foul. <laughs> be called on Ryan Green. Yeah. 
And able to get the second one to go, Moshe Richmond. Warbirds are into double figures now with 10-6 lead. Three and a half minutes gone by in the opening quarter. Step back three from McMasters falls short. Moshe Richmond gets the rebound but loses the ball in the process of coming down. Blue takes a corner three, that's short. Tate French hauls in the rebound. Driving in, out to Rainford, now underneath French. Working around Green, no. Oh. These two teams have faced off before. Woolsey Wessington taking home a 35 point victory. That one at home on January 15th. Tim to Rainford. And a late Ooh. foul is going to be called. Backdoor cut from Caleb Richmond. Second foul on Josh McMasters in this opening quarter. Second one rims out. Woodcock grabs the rebound. And they're going to say Pesky just had his foot on the line. French with it in the short corner. They get it out. Richmond. Now Rainford over to Tim. O'Shea Richmond drives in. Shot kind of moved. Partially blocked. Yeah. As Green brings it across. Now Pesky. Blue with it. To Green. He takes a three. Off the mark. Pesky trying to grab the rebound, but Caleb Richmond takes it away. French pump fake gets around Pesky and beautiful finish. A dangerous pass there. That was Dante Glanzer receiving the pass now Pesky turns it over stolen away Caleb Richmond one ball poked out stays with Wolsey Wessington McMasters back in for Iroquois Lake Preston Colin Hughes subs in for Wolsey Wessington 6-1 junior Rainford in the corner. Hughes. Now Caleb Richmond. Baseline drive and no one there helping McMasters. And Richmond cruises in for a layup. 15 to 6 lead. Three pointer up. Off the mark from Glanzer. As Richmond steps into a three, that's short. Pesky with the rebound and now a. Full timeout taken by Brock Dufek, the head coach of the Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks. We'll take it with him. We're back in one minute on Castlewood Warriors Live. Welcome back Whether to the Citizen State Bank Press ahead, Box. Citizen State Bank, your starts. friendly community bank where decisions are made with you advocacy, in mind. Health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank today. Press Box. Citizen Great State Plains Bank, your friendly community so bank where decisions are made with you in mind. 
When you need the best in transmission repairs, count on the name you can trust when you choose automatic transmission and gear. As a member of the Better Business Bureau and the Automatic Transmission Rebuilds Association, we have been proudly serving Welcome Watertown back to the Citizen with over 30 State years Bank of experience on Citizen every State job. Bank, your friendly we specialize in quality transmission repairs, complete transmission rebuilds, and more. Automatic transmission and gear. Give us a call today to see what we can do for you. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. We're back here on Castle Warriors Live. John Acre, Adam Ching. Thanks for tuning in. Region 2B basketball. Eski gets the inbound. Gets it McMaster's ball. Bobbled and stolen away, Peyton Rainford. And now Moshe Richmond trying to dish it to French in transition, but stolen away by Woodcock. Now battling through contact, Josh McMasters gets the layup to go. Two minutes to go, opening quarter. Three-pointer from French up and good. Woodcock with it. New player in for the Sharks yeah. as well. Racing Tim. Another player in. Nathan and Inga. French with it. Top of the key. Hands it off. Now Moshe Richmond to Rainford. French around kind of a screen. That falls short. And Inga with the rebound. Now Rexton Blue gets it to Pesky. Woodcock, three-pointer, short. Tate French hauls in the rebound. No one Wide guarding. Open. Moving the ball up the court very well, and Colin Hughes gets a layup easily. 20 to eight. Skip pass to Blue. The ball nearly stolen. Saves it. And Inga. Pesky oh, almost lost it. He gets it to Blue. There's it. Tim Woodcock. Step back jumper short. Tate French another rebound. Shot clock turned off. Back by the half court line is Caleb Richmond. He gets a screen from Rainford, but a little too much movement. Aiden Rainford called for the offensive foul. A couple of guys will sub out for Iroquois Lake Preston. Close out quarter number one, 6.2 on the game clock. McMasters. We're going to make a play. Got to shoot it. Step back. Three. Short. And that'll do it. Quarter number one in the books. Woolsey Wessington up by 12 after eight minutes of play. We're back for quarter number two in one minute. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air. Where a simple wave warms your heart. And sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. 
Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. Welcome back, quarter number two getting underway. John Acre, Adam Ching, giving you the call to both region 2B playoff games tonight. Woodcock gets a pass from McMasters and just puts it up and in. Yeah, you're quite like Preston needed that. Stop the momentum a little bit from Woolsey Westington here. O'Shea Richmond right hand layup. And the ball thrown through the legs of Josh McMasters. Green, pump fake, and he gets Green to jump. Foul called there. Second foul on Ryan Green. He gets the second one to go. 24 to 10 in favor of the Warbirds. Green up ahead to McMasters. Working baseline and stolen away. Baden Rainford. And a turnover on Woolsey Westington. Inbound goes to Green, gets it to McMasters. And able to pull one up and in. O'Shea Richmond. And a turnover on the Warbirds. Blue looking to, for someone inbound it to. Gets it into Ben Curd. Eski, short range jumper, short. And he's gonna follow it and get a steal. And, ooh, a travel call on Lucas Pesky. Uh, Adam, we talked about it before the game. We don't really know a whole lot about either of these yep. teams, but Lucas Pesky, he's only a freshman. He's a real good young piece for this yeah. uh, Iroquois Lake Preston team. Yeah, absolutely. He's hit a couple of uh, three-pointers already, at least to start. That shot was blocked, but Tate French, good awareness, picks up the ball that he knew was going to fall short. Masters to Blue. Yeah, they're going to get a try. And to they're going to get a walk on uh, Josh McMaster. <clears throat> yeah, Pesky, like you said, just a freshman, pretty much leading this team. You know, the best ball handler on the on the floor for the for the Sharks. And by the way, 
Um, we've seen it early, probably the best shooter on the floor for him too, so if they can get him more involved in the game, the better. That shot blocked, I believe, by Ryan Green. Yeah, they can find a rhythm here offensively. They'll be in this game going into the second half. Wolsey Westington is, hasn't played the cleanest first half mm -hmm. as now we're going to get a timeout by the Sharks once again. 30-second timeout. We will take one as well. We're back in 30. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. We're back after the timeout. Still a 14 point lead for Woolsey Wessington. Roughly five minutes to go. And this first half, Pesky oh. for three. And we were talking about it. They got to get him more involved. Yep. He has been by far the most efficient shooter tonight as French responds with a three of his own. Blue. Might have got away with a walk. Pesky, three-pointer. That one misses. Rain, or rather, uh, McMaster's trying to look inside for a cutting Pesky, but it's a turnover. French, another three. Rims in and out. Offensive rebound. No call there. It was DeSawyer Nelson, but he's not able to get anything to go. Step back three from McMaster Ooh. short. Moshe Richmond with the rebound. And another turnover on Woolsey Wessington. Inbound here goes to Pesky. Full court slash man-to-man -man defense put on. And another a, turnover. A lot, of, a lot of turnovers in the second quarter here. Masters trying to go for a steal. Wolsey trying to make him play, uh, pay rather. As loose ball recovered from Rainford. Now French with it on the left wing. Nelson out to French, driving on Green, who gets a good contest. A missed shot. Corner three, no. And Pesky brings down the rebound. He gets it up ahead, McMasters. Driving in. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that was uh, quite the roll that yeah. McMaster's got. Put, some, put just the right amount of spin on that. And it's 29-17. Free throw line jumper good for Caleb Richmond. And it just kind of seems like any time... I didn't think that was a over and back, but they're going to call it that. Oh. Okay. So it's going to go back with Woolsey, but as I was saying, it seems like any time the Sharks get something going, Woolsey is an immediate response. Mm -hmm. O'Shea Richmond drives in on green, gets the ball stripped, and it's going to stay with Woolsey Wessington. Tate French back into the game. 
He replaces Colin Hughes. Just over two and a half minutes to go. Inbound goes to Nelson. Now French. Moshe Richmond driving in, floater up, and able to get the bounce to fall. Pesky. Underneath, McMaster's layup is good. Moshe Richmond oh. gets the and one. Green trying to go for a, a charge there, and they're not going to give it to him. Great idea there. It's just Moshe is just so athletic. It's hard to do anything there. Moshe Richmond, the 6'3 junior, converts the and one. 17 point lead now for the Warbirds. Third foul called on, on uh, Ryan Green. McMasters, flare screen, offensive foul. Richmond, bounce pass, beautiful bounce pass, but unable to get a shot up was Hughes. Pesky to Blue, back to Pesky, fake the three, and he misses the corner three there. Richmond with the rebound. O'Shea Richmond to Caleb Richmond, bounces out. McMasters, he loses the ball. Turnover, and it's a three on O. Oh. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. O'Shea was going up for a dunk, and... Hopefully it's just a cramp. We'll, we'll step aside while they uh, tend to him. Esteline Community Oil is your one stop for your agricultural needs. They offer a wide range of seed, agronomy services, chemical and mix 30 liquid feed. As Senex dealers, they have bulk fuel, propane, and oil, as well as two gas stations. Esteline Community Oil. Stop in, give them a call, or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. We're back here as Moshe Richmond was able to get up under his own power and kind of walk out of the gym. I can kind of see him out of the doorway there getting tended to by the trainer yep. and it was just kind of a scary play where he was going up for a dunk and something must have buckled or something that he, he wasn't able to get even close to getting all the way to the rim yeah we're hoping it's nothing too serious and he can get back in this game another flare screen as we get back to the action McMaster's driving baseline and a beautiful play. Wow. Josh McMasters with the reverse layup. As he converts the and one. 35 seconds to go before the halftime break. About a one second difference between shot and game clock. 
French. Five seconds to go. Caleb Richmond, step back three, good! As the halftime buzzer rolls off, Wolsey Westington holding on to a 17 point lead, 39 to 22. As we've hit the halftime break, we'll have to keep an update on the status of Moshe Richmond throughout the break, but other than that, we will step aside. 10 minute halftime, we'll be back. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support. Experience personalized service and a commitment to your financial well-being. Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family-friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award-winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. 
Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. When you need the best in transmission repairs, count on the name you can trust when you choose automatic transmission and gear. As a member of the Better Business Bureau and the Automatic Transmission Rebuilds Association, we have been proudly serving Watertown with over 30 years of experience on every job. We specialize in quality transmission repairs, complete transmission rebuilds, and more. Automatic transmission and gear. Give us a call today to see what we can do for you. In times like these, it's good to know there's a place where people know who you are, no matter how long you've been gone. A place where the smells of home cooking are still in the air. Where a simple wave warms your heart. And sharing stories is just a way of life. It's good to be home. Agraria Insurance Company. Protecting what's important in life. Contact your local Agraria Insurance Company agent. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Esteline Community Oil is your one stop for your agricultural needs. They offer a wide range of seed, agronomy services, chemical and mix 30 liquid feed. As Senex dealers, they have bulk fuel, propane and oil, as well as two gas stations. Esteline Community Oil. Stop in, give them a call or check them out online. Esteline Community Oil. Experience the enduring legacy of Castlewood Farms Elevator, a farmer-owned cooperative that has served the ag community for more than a century. Dedicated to enhancing efficiency and offering superior services, they provide a comprehensive range of crop nutrition, protection products, commercial fertilizer, and livestock feed. Visit CastlewoodElevator.com or give them a call today. Your ultimate destination for agriculture needs is Castlewood Farmers Elevator. Citizen State Bank, your trusted community bank for more than 100 years. Discover a range of financial solutions tailored for individuals, farms, and businesses. Proudly serving Arlington, Castlewood, and Sinai, we prioritize community support, experience personalized service, and a commitment to your financial well-being. Join us at Citizen State Bank, where your community matters. Proud sponsors of area youth events and athletics, we are truly committed to your success. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. 
This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. We're back here, start of the second half in Castlewood. Adam Ching to my right, I'm John Acri. Woolsey Wessington Warbirds lead Iroquois Lake Preston 39 to 22. And we do have some uh, rather uh, grateful news. Moshe Richmond starting the second half after taking a pretty nasty fall to uh, end that second quarter. And he's going to get the opening bucket. Yeah, that's good. That's nice to see. It was, a, it was a non contact injury, which was what was the scariest part about it because it was a three on 0 fast break and he went up on one leg. and We thought initially it was a, maybe an ACL or something, but it seemed to be just a cramp because he's back on the floor now. Yeah, no wincing, no limping, no nothing. So that's it's really good to see. Richmond with it, now to French. French driving in and gets the layup. As you can see on the camera, the gym has definitely emptied out. Mm -hmm. As the <laughs> ball gets stuck in between the shot clock and backboard. A lot of the Castlewood crowd and especially the student section has cleared out. Yep. So pretty much the only ones left here are Wolsey Wessington and Iroquois Lake Preston fans. French for three, no. Woodcock with the rebound. And winner of this one will take on the hometown Warriors, but it will not be here and it will not be at uh, number one seeded DeSmit, it will be at the Huron Arena. Caleb Richmond sinks that one. That pass from McMaster's right to Richmond. Miss layup from Moshe Richmond, but Caleb Richmond gets the offensive rebound. As we get a blocking foul called on Weston Woodcock. Three-pointer on the way from Tim. That's off the mark. Whoa! <laughs> wow, what a pass. <laughs> Green almost hit almost the hit the rafters <laughs> on that pass. Great idea. Just a little, <laughs> a little strong on that one. Five thirty-six to play a third quarter. Wolsey has built a 23-point lead. French, he gets the basket to fall. Now Pesky to Woodcock. He'll step back and fire from three, but air ball. Rainford gets his pass deflected. Moshe Richmond gets the steal, but a blocked shot. Oh. 
McMasters to Pesky. Green, high pass to McMasters, drives baseline. Oh! On <laughs> wow. <laughs> McMasters did that same thing in the first half, just a wild acrobatic finish <laughs> and, uh, and a foul, and he does it here again. Green will sub out for Iroquois Lake Preston. Glanzer subs in for him. Grant Tim subs out as well for Woolsey Wessington. In comes number 10, Colin Hughes. McMasters converts on the and one free throw. And we'll get a 30 second timeout called by Brock Dufek of Iroquois Lake Preston. 4.49 to go, third quarter. 47-25 in favor of the Warbirds. We're back in 30 seconds. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. Welcome back after the timeout. Wolsey Westington basketball. Richmond to Richmond, left wing three, off the mark. French just tips the ball back out. Rainford gets the offensive rebound, or collects it rather. Caleb Richmond, now Rainford, French. Corner three, hits the back iron. Another high pass to McMasters. Dangerous pass and stolen away. French to Moshe Richmond, that ball stolen away. McMasters, four on two fast break. McMasters, good. right layup, good. <laughs> Gotta give uh, the Sharks credit tonight. They're not letting it get out of hand. No, they're working their tails off. As Pesky picks up a foul. McMasters and, and Pesky especially have been uh, all over the floor tonight. Yeah. As we'll see O'Shea Richmond check out. Sawyer Nelson back in. That pass nearly stolen from McMasters. And speaking of McMasters, he does have 16 of their 27. So <laughs> Deflected pass, Rainford's three, no. Woodcock rebound. See if they can build on, build on the last shot. Backdoor cut. Out, corner three from Blue, yes. Okay, all right. The lead is 17 now. Caleb Richmond. To Hughes, now Rainford. Hughes, inside to French, steps through. Elbow jumper off the mark, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Weston Woodcock. Lob pass to French, makes a nice play. Get it up ahead to Rexton Blue. That ball stolen away. And, and back to what you had mentioned earlier, John, too, you know, uh, the Sharks hit, hit a pretty big three after, after a missed shot from Woolsey and then Woolsey turns right back around out of the out of bounds play and gets an easy two. So it's just they're kind of like you said earlier, they're answering on a lot of these shots, and it's hard for the Sharks to to kind of claw themselves back. And it's kind of difficult for uh, Iroquois to really build any momentum when you got guys on the yeah. floor for Woolsey like French and the two Richmonds. Yeah, they're all just so athletic. Oh yeah, and they can hit from anywhere too. I mean, French typically inside, but he has two threes tonight too, so. 
Richmond, shot no after the block. And the rebound goes out to McMasters. And almost <laughs> trying to get another one of those <laughs> wacky and ones. Uh, doesn't get that one. Tate French will pick up a foul. McMaster's first free throw is short. Give you an update as well on the other side of the bracket. Currently DeSmit dominating and winning against Arlington 72 to 34. As that one's short, Woodcock with the offensive rebound. He gets it out, stepping into a three. Is Glanzer oh. for three. 49-33. Richmond three-pointer off the mark. And in the uh, four and five seed game, currently four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. McMaster's three off the mark. James Valley Christian takes the lead, or rather now it's tied. And one for Caleb Richmond. With four minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Newbrook area and James Valley Christian, that's the 4-5 game in Region 2B. Are, it just keeps updating on me. James Valley Christian <laughs> now takes the lead on Newbrook area, 62-59. to And one converted by Caleb Richmond. Second foul called on Weston Woodcock. And oh my. Ooh, almost, oh. almost another one of those. That one would have been from Pesky. And French throws the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Gets it top of the key. Pesky fires a quick three. It's off the mark. Grant Tim gets the rebound in transition. French offensive foul. Great play by Ryan Green to step in front of French. Mm -hmm. Smart play there. He tried that in the first half on Moshe Richmond, I believe, and they didn't give it to him then, but he's going to get one there. His third, too. Inbound goes to Pesky. Working on Caleb Richmond. Now he gets it to McMasters across the timeline. Oh, Ball tip. deflected out of bounds. Trying to get it over French. It'll, they'll say he tipped it as it went out of bounds. McMasters gets the inbound to Glanzer. Step back three, yes! 16 point lead. Again, Iroquois they're not losing the game, but they are certainly keeping themselves in it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a tough fourth quarter either way. French working around Green and a foul called on Ryan Green. I believe that's his fourth. See, yep, that is Ryan Green's yeah. fourth personal foul. French will step to the line to shoot two, and he sinks the first. Sinks the second one as well. 27.5 to go, third quarter of play. Lob pass all the way to Glanzer, and I don't know if he even had a shot to catch that in play. No. And a turnover on Iroquois, just moving too quick there. Shot clock was turned off. You could have waited for uh, one final shot, but now with 17 seconds to go, a timeout. 
by Hayden Hooks, the coach for Woolsey Wessington. And we're back in 30 seconds on Castlewood Warriors Live. Welcome back to the Citizen State Bank Press Box. Citizen State Bank, your friendly community bank where decisions are made with you in mind. 17.8 to go, third quarter action here in Castlewood. I'm John Acri alongside me, Adam Ching. We'll see what Woolsey does for what looks to be the final possession of the third quarter of play. They have a 18 point lead. Looking to make it 20, maybe 21. Yeah, it almost looked like the same play, uh, what they drew up before halftime that got him a three before the half. We're gonna get another foul here. This one called on Rexton Blue, his first. Caleb Richmond steps up to the free throw line and sinks the first. Six foot sophomore. And back iron on the second free throw. Tate French gets the offensive board. Richmond to French. Gets the shot off in time, but it falls short. And that'll do it for the third quarter of play. Woolsey Wessington up by 19 points with just eight minutes to go. Looking to move on and play Castlewood in Huron on Friday. We'll find out in this final quarter of play coming up in one minute. The Hamlin County Republican, a local award-winning newspaper, has been providing weekly news and sports coverage in Castlewood since 1888. From the latest news stories, editorials, or sporting events, the Hamlin County Republican covers it all. Go to hamlincountypublishing.com to view their photo gallery of all Hamlin County events. You can also check out the website for subscription rates and types, or call 605-793-2293 to get your subscription started today. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. We're back here, start of the fourth quarter. Region 2B boys basketball, John Acri, Adam Ching. Thanks for tuning in on Castlewood Warriors Live as Pesky gets Ooh. the bounce on a three ball to cut this lead to 16 points. It's gonna be an uphill battle to get back into this one over the course of the final seven and a half minutes to go. That one short, but French on the back side will get the putback layup. There, tip ball, stolen away, Caleb Richmond. Drives baseline, floater up and nothing but net. As we are quickly back to a 20 point lead. Pesky to McMasters. Step back, three ball, no. French another rebound. Up ahead, Moshe Richmond. Offensive rebound to Nelson. And it looks like we're gonna get a foul on Dante Glanzer. Sawyer so Nelson, 6'4", sophomore, sinks the first free throw. Ryan, Tim, or Ryan Green, excuse me, will check out. In comes A.J. Weinke, or uh, Weinke, I'm not sure how to say that name. Sure. Offensive rebound on the miss from Moshe Richmond.
And the Warbirds are going back to the free throw line. Hmm. First one off the mark from Richmond. And he gets a second one. Pesky driving coast to coast. Layup falls short. He gets his own rebound. Out to Glanzer for three. Yes. Again, Iroquois, they're not letting it get out of no. hand, but they haven't been within 14 points in, I think, two and a half quarters. Just one of those things where they're trying their, their hardest to yeah. fight back, but it's just... Woolsey's just such a good team. Mm -hmm. Pesky picks up his second foul. The inbound goes to Moshe Richmond who gets the foul and the basket. Doesn't convert the and one. Rebound goes to Lucas Pesky. McMasters, and they're gonna call a travel on Josh McMasters. Get a late sub in, Grant Tim back into the ball game for the Warbirds, Sawyer Nelson checks out. Six minutes on the dot remaining. Mosey Westerton looking to hang on to this one. And if they do, it should be a pretty good matchup on Friday in, in Huron. Pretty high scoring offenses for both teams. Again, they are able to hold on to this one. They would face Castlewood in the Huron Arena on Friday. And interestingly enough, though they're in the same region, these two teams didn't face off in the regular season, so uh -uh. it would be an interesting matchup. Yeah. If Masters gets called for a travel. Castlewood would probably have the uh, length advantage there. Yeah. With Lowey and Bomberger, Brody Bass off the bench. Mm -hmm. So, Bullsey would probably need to think of some way to counter that. Right. And, I mean, Bullsey has some really good athletes that can jump out of the gym and hit from anywhere. It's just, like we've said before, it's, it's kind of tough to match up with Casswood when you got 6'9", and then 6'5", and 6'4", in there. French gets the bucket, 23-point lead. Masters. And we're going to get a travel call on Nathan Aninga. Door cut. Ooh, Richmond missed Aiden Rainford on that one. Well, I had an easy layup. McMasters across the timeline. Driving in. Shot blocked from Moshe Richmond. In transition now, he gets the layup. 
25 point lead. Backdoor cut and a turnover. They get it up ahead. Rainford to Richmond. Another layup. <laughs> and now it's starting to get a little out of hand. Yep. Ooh, maybe got away with a travel there. I think so. Woodcock, top of the key three, misses left rim. Offensive rebound goes to Wienke. Three pointer from McMaster, short. Tipped back out. Wienke gets the rebound. And ball goes out of bounds. It stays with the Sharks. Sawyer Nelson back in, as well as Colin Hughes. They inbound it. Pump fake and getting the shot to fall, Lucas Pesky. Hughes baseline drive. Layup is good. Maybe, maybe should have been an and one, but <laughs> he, he did drop to a, a knee there yeah. on the finish. Pesky three pointer, nothing but net. Moshe Richmond. Caleb Richmond now out Sawyer Nelson. Moshe Fun. Richmond crossover out. French for three. No. Fun fact, that pesky two on the previous possession, that was his first non-three of the game. Wow. <laughs> How many points does he have? 17. <laughs> wow. Five threes. And uh, one one bucket coming yeah. inside of the of of the arc with uh, three minutes to go in the game. <laughs> Ball nearly lost by the Warbirds. Caleb Richmond to Tate French turnaround shot too strong. And Inga with the rebound. Woodcock, stolen away, Caleb Richmond. Fast break, and Richmond gets the bucket. And we'll get a timeout for some subs. As some guys will sub out for Iroquois Lake Preston for the uh, final time in their career. Josh McMasters. Weston Woodcock. Uh, let's see. Nathan Aninga is still out there. He's a senior as well. And I think that's. Winky is still out on the court as well. He's a senior oh. for the Sharks. Warbirds are a minute 44 from moving on to Huron. Winky out, three-pointer, Glanzer and misses everything, and it goes back the other way for Woolsey Westington. Miss shot, rebound goes to Aninga. And that ball stolen away from, by Isaiah Sabalier. I do apologize if I'm saying that name wrong. 6'4", junior for Woolsey. Under a minute to go. Roberts on the drive, that's Harley Roberts, a 5'9 junior. As we'll get one final stoppage of play to get some other guys checked in. We will see Winky as well as Nathan and Inga sub out for the final time as members of the Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks. 
Might have been a backcourt <laughs> violation, but we'll let yeah. it go. Keaton Zomer, or excuse me, I'm looking at the wrong team here. Ben Curd into the game. Is one of the subs for the Sharks, as well as Aiden Quarry. Offensive rebound, putting it up and in at the buzzer, Rayson Tim. 75-49. Shot clock is turned off. <laughs> they want him to shoot it. <laughs> they want him to shoot it. I don't have a name, unfortunately, on the roster, but never did get a shot up. That will do it here tonight in Castlewood. The Woolsey Westington Warbirds take home the victory 75 to 49. And they move on in the Class B Region 2 playoffs. They will take on the Castlewood Warriors, who again won earlier tonight 73 to 43. Kind of rather uneventful games, uh, but uh, it was kind of tough for uh, both the lower seeds tonight, both with records of 4 and 16, taking on some. Some of the uh, top teams in Class B boys basketball, but nonetheless, Cavswood and Woolsey will face off in the Huron Arena on Friday. We have an update as well on the other side of the bracket. DeSmit, again, they defeated Arlington earlier tonight, 72-34. to They will take on the Dubrook Area Dolphins, the number four seed in Region 2B. They defeated James Valley Christian 73-69. to and kind of a close one there uh, in DeSmit. That game was held in DeSmit. Uh, Adam, do you have any uh, leading scores tonight? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll start here first with the Woolsey Westington Warbirds. We got uh, Moshe Richmond, uh, ended up with 21 points, and Caleb Richmond came in with 23, and Tate French with 24. So uh, three players over 20 points. That's. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat a lot of times. And uh, for Iroquois Lake Preston Sharks, we have Josh McMasters ended up with 16. Lucas Pesky ended up with 17. And then Dante Glanzer uh, just had those three threes and ended up with nine. It's kind of a uh, tough night for Iroquois, but they stayed in it there for a little bit. Didn't get super out of hand, but like we said a few times tonight, Woolsey answered pretty much every time Iroquois Lake Preston would have some momentum. So it's hard hard to get a win that way and, and not taking anything away from Woolsey Westington. They're a heck of a team. They got they got some really good athletes and uh, like I said earlier, I think it's going to be a, a fun matchup that I'm looking forward to seeing on, on Friday. I'm definitely going to be going to that game <laughs> <laughs> to watch. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say it, but I'm hoping a certain team wins. But, <laughs> but. This is the Castlewood broadcast. Yeah, yeah I mean. true. But yep. that will uh, do it here for us tonight. Again, the Castlewood Warriors and Woolsey Wessington Warbirds will face off on Friday in the Huron Arena. They will also, uh, another game being played that night as well, the other side of the bracket, the Smith Bulldogs and Dubrook Area Dolphins will face off. I'm not sure. Which team would face off first? I'm thinking I, Castlewood might. I heard, I heard the Castlewood Woolsey game. This was from earlier, so don't quote me on this. But I think they're at 7:30. They're at the later game. I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea to be honest yeah. with you, but they're one of those games. Yeah, right. they're either in, they're either the <laughs> six o'clock or the 7:30. Yeah, they're going to be good games either way. Just show up early, <laughs> folks, and have some, watch some good basketball. <laughs> But that will do it here for us tonight. Adam Ching to my right. I'm John Akery. Thanks for tuning in on some Region 2B Boys Basketball. We say so long and good night from Castlewood. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit Great Plains